A random variable x has the CDF given below. Calculate the variance of x. So we know that variance of x is e of x squared minus e x whole square. And to get these expected values, we need the PDF. Now, normally, we get the PDF of uh, such a function by just taking the derivative of each part, which we can do if uh, there's differentiability all over. And usually that's the case. What happens is that the values at the endpoints match. However, this is a tricky one because look, f of one is calculated from this part and that comes out to be one minus two plus two over two. So that's a one half. However, just before one, if we look at the upper part, it's zero. So there's a sudden jump from zero to a half. So it's not continuous at one and therefore not differentiable. And now we're okay as we go from this half to this half because f of two is one. And as we approach two from here, we get four minus four plus two over two, which is also one. So there's nothing funny happening as you go from the second to the third part, but there is something happening as you go from the first to the second part. So what's happening is, that uh, the probability was zero as long as you were less than one and suddenly took a jump at one and it jumped to one half. So when we write the, the PDF, we take this into account. So we recognize that uh, the probability was zero when you less than one half and then at one half there's a jump uh, at, at x equal uh, probability was zero and x is less than one and then at one it suddenly jumps to a half and then afterwards we are in this portion and here we just do the normal stuff uh, we take the derivative of this maybe so 2x minus 2 by 2 when x is between 1 and 2 not equal to 1 because equal to 1 we know what happens this is what happens at equals to 1 and between one and two, we get this. And then after, from two onwards, uh, we have this part. And so we take the derivative of one, which is zero. So now this is a combination of uh, both discrete and continuous because what's happening from zero to one is a discrete situation. And then what's happening over here in this uh, interval is a continuous situation. So to get the expected values, we will need a combination of both discrete and continuous formulas for the expected values. So the discrete formula, you know, is summation xfx. So there's only one value for which we would need the xfx and that's over here. So x is one and fx is a half. So one times one half xfx. And then we know that for the continuous, it's the integral of xfx. So the integral of x against this part and uh, everywhere else it's zero. So from one to two, and then uh, the twos cancel out here and you end up being x squared minus x. And then when you integrate it through the normal business, you get four third. So similarly, when you go e of x squared, that is uh, for the discrete variable, it's summation of x squared fx. And the only value where we have discrete situation is here. So x squared is one square and fx is a half. So one square times a half. And then for the continuous, it's the expected, the expected value of x squared is the integral of x squared against the fx. That's the fx in the one to two. And then uh, same thing, the twos cancel out here, multiply the x squared through, you get x cubed minus x squared and then integrate x four by four minus x cubed by three, one to two. And eventually you get 23 by 12 for e of x squared. And now we are ready to apply the variance formula, which is e of x squared minus e x whole squared. So e x squared was 23 by 12. And e x was four thirds over here. So we end up with five over 36, which is choice C.